For the first time since 1996, the Ocean State is conducting aerial spraying in an effort to prevent the spread of mosquito-borne viruses. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter spoke with those in charge of the efforts to find out exactly how it works. The Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management, or DEM, announced Friday that the state will begin spraying for mosquitoes on Sunday. Because we are in that critical risk tier in some parts of the state, we are moving into a next phase of our mosquito abatement plan. And DEM Director Janet Coit says that next phase is treating four locations that have been labeled critical risk for Triple E. Central Falls, Westerly, West Warwick, and Northern Rhode Island. That spraying, which some call adulticiding, is aimed at the adult mosquitoes in the air in those critical risk areas. So far this year, the illness has been detected four times in Rhode Island. A West Warwick resident also became the first person since 2010 to contract the disease in the state. That diagnosis coming a week after a Fairhaven woman died of it. Roughly one third of people who get Tripoli end up passing away. DEM says the product being sprayed poses no risk to humans and is being used in low concentrations. If anyone is concerned about being exposed to the pesticide, they should remain indoors during the treatment, but it isn't necessary. They are also avoiding certain areas. Organic farms, um, drinking water reservoirs, uh, some coastal features. Saying the ability to spray will depend on the weather. Um, so we intend to do it on Sunday evening after dusk when the, web, the temperature is above 60 degrees and the winds are calm. Should we not have those conditions, we won't go forward.